Right fellas, so uh, now he's back here again with a, another quick inbox review and this time we're going to be taking a look at Spitfire's, uh, Spitfire, Submarine Spitfire Mark VB or 5B by Airfix. Now this kit is an all new, uh, new tooling from I think last year. Uh, I've heard really good things about it so let's crack open the box and have a quick look. So, as you can see, some really nice uh, box art of the uh, 5, uh, 5B uh, with the Maltese colours on the front. A few shooting down an Italian fighter. I'm assuming it's Italian. Uh, yeah, I think it's Italian. So, some really nice box art. Onto the two markings. Uh, one is of a an air mu uh, museum piece and one's an actual uh, aircraft that flew through during the war uh, out in the Mediterranean and you'll notice it's a very pecu peculiar uh, a brown over grey scheme now the grey scheme is uh, it was pa painted over because some pe some pilots thought they that the, the light brown of the two for the desert scheme was too bright and they were getting blinded and all that sort of stuff. So they got it overpainted in in theatre by just some vehicle paint. So this lends itself extremely well to uh, some some really nice weathering. So we've got some CAD shots on the side, the aircraft uh, decals, as you can see, are by Cartograph. So they should be perfectly fine. Again, some bump on the actual aircraft. And the two uh, marking options, and obviously with all the painting. So we'll open it up, and as always with Airfix, we get a single bag, our decal sheet, and our instructions. So starting off with the instructions. Okay, so again. We get some uh, a bit of a write up about the aircraft itself uh, and the size of the actual aircraft. So this will be uh, just over 23 uh, centimeters long by just under 20 centimeters. Sorry, just over 23 centimeters wide and 20, just under 20 centimeters long. Move inside and then obviously what not to do and assembly instructions and all that good stuff. And then we move straight away into the build. So, new this uh, new way of FX of doing their uh, their instructions with the the red highlighted areas, a bit that you did before. So we've got the cockpit, side walls, the seat, uh, the fr uh, fuselage frame where the seat goes onto. Then you can see the red parts. So that bits the back bit that we just built. Going on to there, the uh, foot pedals, and moving on to the actual uh, instrument panels, oxygen tanks, uh, and everything like that. So it builds up into a tub like assembly. So there we've got our seat, then getting slotted into the uh, the tub with the rear bracing. And like the roll cage part of it, pilot. Also, I don't put, won't be putting the pilot in, but he's got a nice big cheesy grin on his face. And then there's the uh, the actual tub going onto the uh, inner wall of the fuselage. Parts to remove if you want the canopy closed. Okay, same on this side. And then we've got our. Uh, oxygen tank or another tank going into the, the cockpit and then we've got a cut out a bit if we want the cockpit open for the door I don't know if you get a separate door but we'll have a look at that in a bit so you cut that bit out there if you join the fuselage together pouring the, the part over the uh, where the fuel tank will be so the fuel tank would just sit in that sort of area there as you can see the the fuel 
uh, nozzle cap. The uh, screw out if you want the external belly tank or the uh, stand, which I'll be doing neither of those. Then a nice ring, nice and simple uh, for putting on to the undercarriage. And then we'll move on to the strengthening bar and the undercarriage itself. So we can see the a part of the undercarriage goes in with another bit of the strengthening bar and then the wings are mated together. So once the wings, wings are mated together, you put it down into the wings, tail sections, going onto the aircraft itself. Uh, control surfaces going in and then you've got the choice either between uh, A or B. A is the Maltese Spitfire, B is the uh, museum piece. Me personally I'll be going with A because I just love the the look of the, with, the, with the chin radiator and then again another part going on for the chin radiator and not the chin radiator, whichever way, way you're going for. Onto the uh, wing, uh, wing radiators. So on this, there is the one that goes into and out. The, the belly tank again, I won't be putting the belly tank on. And another filter. So A and B again. So again, you need to make sure you get picked the right one. And then it's either uh, wheels up, it says over there, or wheels down, which it says over there. So these, it's actually a different way uh, Airfix have done it. Uh, you actually get the angles there for the wheels down version. Uh, way the, the slotting, it's, it's like a, a tooth or a... Uh, Oh, I don't know what we call it, a tooth or, or what, but it's slightly slots together. And then again with the angle of the wheels. And then we move on to gun, the gun installation, the cannons and the uh, exhaust. Again, you need to pick which one you're going for, guys, A or B. Propeller, again, A or B. So it'd be this one I'll be going for, how it all slots in and works together. And then onto the canopy, so open. So two different canopies for, again, for the different markings, A or B. And again, same for closed, A or B. All right. And then pouring the last parts on and we have then have a fully bolt bird. So we can move on to the colour calls out. Again, all in uh, Humbrol, which is what Airfix normally do. And this was from by Robert Wendell, Buck Madar, McNair, DFC, Royal Canadian Air Force. Uh, number 249 Gold Coast Squadron, Royal Air Force Operation Spotter, Taquil on Malta in March 1944. So it was it just a little side note. McCall's aircraft was reported to have been delivered with malt in, in to Malta in dark earth, midstone and sky camouflage, but to have later to have later had the midstone overpainted with a locally mixed dark grey colour. So that's the dark grey colour, so that's why it's the sea grey. And also, what you need to know on this one, guys, if you just have a look there, you can see how it's been overpainted on the bottom. You can just see it over here and over there. So your you can see the actual brown, it's been factory fitted, factory painted, so it's nice straight lines. But when you come to do the grey, guys, it's just been overpainted. All right, so it's it's not it doesn't have to be hundred percent neat. And then the final marking or the other marking is this restored colours of number three one seven Polish Fighter Squadron, 
the Historic Aircraft Collection Imperial War, Imperial War Museum in Duxford, England 2013. So again, this bird, you'd be building it and if you're building it to, to that, it'll be a pristine bird, it'll be a pristine uh, aircraft. But still quite a, a nice looking aircraft there. Right, so moving on to the plastic. So one bag, get my knife, if I can find it. Do this one. So clear parts. And looking at that, there's none broken off, but we'll see. So starting with the fuselage, some really, really nice crisp panel lines, and with the the, the uh, catches for the engine cover and cowling, uh, looks very, very nice. Nice plastic, some nice detail on the inside. Some of these. Uh, Injection pin marks will need to be get rid of. The will be behind there. You might not be able to see them, but it's always better to make uh, to be safer than sorry. So that's the first part. Onto the cockpit and some kind of control services. Again, some really really nice detail in there, as you can see. The instrument panel. There's a the door. So again, some nice detail, some nice uh, fabric texture on the control surfaces. Be able to put them out really nicely. The another sprue there. We've got the seat, some cockpit parts, uh, the prop. Again, overall, some really nice detail. Again, though you might have to see that. Can you see that? So some makes injection pin marks to get rid of, undercarriage, uh, the exhaust stacks, two different types, the flared and the rounded. Uh, I'll have, I might have a look, see if I can go in there and scribe those out. The uh, frame around the cockpit area, there's your pilot. Next sprue, we've got the drop tack, nose, uh, under bit, some more control surfaces and the other prop. Again, some really nice detail on there. There'd be the, the exhaust stats I'll be using, because I'll be doing the big chin filter and the cannons. It's got some nice ribbon detail over the, uh, the cannon suppression. Onto the... Uh, the upper and lower wings. Yeah, some nice detail. Again, same as on the uh, the fuselage. Some nice crisp detail. No rivets, really, to speak of. Uh, there's a few on the the gun where the guns uh, get loaded and unloaded, etc. Nice detail there, the strengthening bar on this aircraft, on the wings. So that's that. We'll move on to the clear parts. Which I'm not really expecting a major problem with. Yeah, they look really nice. It'd be uh, it'd be these ones. One of these ones I'll be using anyway. And you've got the different bulges on the top. Okay, cool. And then onto the decals. And we know these are bad cars, cars, so we shouldn't really have any problems with them whatsoever. Uh, the walkways I'll be painting. I'll show you how I go about doing those. Some nice. Nice in register roundels. This kit should go together beautifully. Touch wood. Yeah, so just two ticks, guys. So there she is. 
Air Fixers Submarine Spitfire Mark 5B. Uh, a really, really nice kit. Now, I, oh, I don't know. I've printed off some, can you see them? Some uh, rivet detail that I'm gonna have a proper look at and see if I can maybe give him a, give it a go. I don't know though, because reason being, I've only got one of these riveters and the wheel is quite big, so it's quite hard to control when it works. It's quite hard to control, keeping it straight. So, we'll see. Something I've got to think about. I've got to build a cockpit and what have you yet, so we'll find out. So there we have it guys, Airfixers, uh, new tool, Spitfire Mark 5B. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.